What is up, fellas? How's it going? Happy Monday. This is take two. I'm not going to tell you why I had to retake this, but I'm retaking it. Um, this is kind of a big, big mail day for me. Might be one of the greatest of all time, hence the backdrop. Greatest of all time is probably Anderson Silva. I don't know who else it might be. I'm not that uh, big of a fan to know the arguments of who is and who isn't, but all I know is Anderson Silva seems to be the greatest of all time to me. So, with that being said, I'm kind of I'm kind of anxious. I've already tore into one of these returns, but I'm going to get to what I got last week. Um, last week I had a nice return from Dustin the Diamond Poirier. I haven't gotten him in the I have not gotten him before, but I have traded traded for him. Uh, so, nice little note. Thanks for the support, David. I'll be back soon, Dustin. So he signed um, the 2012 Finest for me with the diamond. I wanted to get that inscription since his signature is kind of just, you know, look at it. So nice to get the inscription on there. And then also last week, I forget when I got this, but what was kind of crazy about this return is it was postmarked from Brazil the same date as somebody else that got theirs two weeks ago. But this sucker spent 24 days en route to get here to uh, Wisconsin. A lot longer than it took to get to my buddy's house, but um, this one's for trade because I already traded somebody else to get their extra 2011 finest. So hit me up if you want to trade for this. I know people have already hit me up already, but let me know if you're interested. You can work something out. And the 2012 finest also is available because, I, like I said, I got antsy when uh, people got their Vive venues back, and I sent off a bunch of cards to people to get to trade for it. But uh, I didn't have this one done, the 2012. So that's awesome to get the 2012 knockout. And then most especially, I'm not going for the complete set, but I want to get as many Moment of Truths done before I'm done hoarding and collecting and, and getting for my uh, my collages. So really happy to get the nice full signature from Jose Aldo. He returned from Brazil. I think it only took about a month back and forth from Brazil. So now for the first TTM that I got today, first return I got six packages today. Some are some are returns and and one's a, a um a contest that I won last week that got here really fast. So Walker Ball, you're gonna like this. This is coming back from Clay Guida. Looks like it took 99 days. I know most of what the returns are, so I went through and I looked at my uh, my spreadsheet. So I'll know how long each of these took, but this is just a little extra Clay Guida threw in. I didn't ask for anything in return, but but he added uh, this nice 4x6, signed real clear and bold and blue, and then I wanted to get this done. When I saw him in Chicago, it was on Friday after the weigh-ins, after he had eaten, and I think it was Friday night before he was going to go chill and relax, and he just was, he said, two, two autographs per person, and and he kind of rushed through them. It wasn't adding the carpenter. So it's really nice to get this back. And um, when other people had gotten their returns a couple weeks ago, I, thought, I felt kind of slighted. I don't know how I missed out. But that one's coming back from Albuquerque, and I had sent that to Illinois. So, And it also looks like he had to add, for whatever reason, he added 20 cents. So that's that. So nice click to return. I'm anxious to put that in my... Uh, my moment of truth collage. I'll end up showing that in one of these videos. I'm gonna hold off on this little one because it's 31 days. I think it's a via venue from a, from a, uh, a 209er. This is um, a contest one that I had last week. I'm gonna crack this thing open. So and take one. I kind of had it rolling pretty good. I was really overly excited, and so I'm opening all of these. And I said something about how we're gonna live and die together on these because I didn't open these to see. I didn't open any of this mail, so I figured I would open it all here for us to enjoy together, share it with you guys. So I'm going to tear into this. This was a contest for M MMA Elite. Those guys are awesome, and I think this might be Alden's last last contest that I won. And uh, it was the question was, what kind of dog does Michael Bisping have? So I replied in like 14 seconds. I thought I had this in a bag to win a signed t-shirt. I don't care if it's signed. I just wanted to get an MMA Elite t-shirt. Because uh, the ones they sell in the stores kind of stink. But um, I ended up getting second place somehow. I think it's because I added exclamation points to my answer. But um, with other MMA Elite stuff, they send you a window cling. 
Thanks for that. And then I'll, I'll appreciate this because Alden has done as CEO. So I'm going to appreciate this little letter. Alden was a huge, uh, a huge help for some of us collectors getting Rampage and BJ Penn through a signing that they did. And then what he sent was an MMA Elite Michael Bisping um, promo. So that was second and third prize. First prize was a signed t-shirt. I'm shocked I didn't win that. I thought I had it in the bag. Like I said, I was online when he did the contest by chance. And then and then um, I thought I had it for sure. I saw a couple wrong answers. And I, like I said, I was... I, I, I posted back in like 14 seconds, but he said I was uh, I was edged out. So this one, I'm anxious about this. Coming back from Gleason Tebow. I had a promos request, so I sent um, a letter, clearly showing what I was hoping for, and um, looks like he hooked it up big time here. Just a second. Make sure everything's out of the envelope. But. Ooh, right off the bat, right on the top. Look at this. From my man Marcel. Hooking it up for you, buddy. So here's a Gleason T Bow. Nicely signed with ATT. ATT, and then uh, two Marcel. So, Marcel, I'll put that with the other stuff I have for you, fella. And holy crap, he added like. Wow. There's like four of them in here. So, I'll put this over here. Here's one to David. ATT, T Bow. This one's uh, two UFC, two UFC. I didn't. This he added three extras. That's a lot. So uh, that's awesome. Nice to get Cleese and T Bow. That was only 13 days. I wanted to fire that off real quick before he headed to Brazil, and I knew he had these. I saw somebody else get the, get these back a long time ago. So uh, I did my. Uh, I, I did what I do. And uh, made sure he understood what I was looking for, and uh, he delivered. So Marcel, here you go, Big Daddy. It's a nice looking promo, if, I'm, if I say so myself. Um, the next one's coming back in 276 days. I sent this off in August. You can see August uh, 2012. This is coming back from Edwin Figueroa. I suppose there's no excitement there, but he sent it back in this big 9 by 12 All I sent was uh, tops cards to get done. And uh, thanks, Chris, if you're watching this. Thanks for the address. Thanks for sharing. Hopefully you got your stuff today, or you get it tomorrow. Looks like this was postmarked on the 9th. Coming back from Texas. Oh, dude, nice. I didn't know he had these. Looks like he hooked it up with a UFC promo. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. I didn't know, otherwise I would ask for I would ask for these. Oh there's two. Oh he, he signed two to me, that's weird. Looks like somebody else named David's gonna get one. So uh here's uh two David, thanks for the support, bro. Edwin Figueroa. L Barrows or something like that. Sign right over his booby. So these are these are newer U promos. So he must have did a signing in Texas or something because they got the silver bottom. And then here's a two David also. So I have to hook that up with to somebody who uh, who wants that. But this is what I this is what I sent. I actually just sent two tops cards. So I got the gold Figueroa done. And there's only one way I got these cards. And that was from. Uh, from UGMO, so thanks a lot for that, and stoked to get one for the collage. Right now they're in binders, but all that too, they got beat up a little bit wherever he had them, kind of wrinkled up there on the bottom left, and then I actually saw his debut fight, I think. His debut was versus Jason Reinholdt in Milwaukee last August. So now this one's coming back, 102 days, going to keep rolling through, and this one is, uh, I'm going to give, give it away right here. What what? So let's hope for the best here. Let's hope for signed stuff and not signed stickers on my stuff. This is you know some of you guys remember for the past couple years he's put signed stickers on stuff or his people have. Oh nice! I peeked in here. So let's do this. This is the big thing I sent. 
I actually took this stuff with me to uh, Vegas last May, and uh, he was not in town. But look at this. He didn't add 100% Jesus like I wanted, but a nice signature on a UFC promo from the Axe Murderer, Vanderlei Silva. That's freaking sweet. Couldn't have asked for anything better than that besides getting the 100% Jesus inscription. We'll leave that. And sent to Tops. Let's see how this turned out. Ooh, ooh. Never seen signatures like this before. Ugh. Alright, like I said, we live and die together here. So here's the WS Vanderlei on this. I was looking forward to getting at least getting that on these. I guess this is his I'm getting done with this quick mail. So here's I won't I don't even think I'll frame these. And that's you can't even tell what that is. That's a bummer. At least he signed the promo real nice. And uh this is one of those lessons where you know what? I got the round four that I need. I just really like signed tops cards a lot more than UFC promos. It's not a lot more, but you, you guys know signed tops are my thing. The UFC promos are kind of secondary. But uh, this is kind of a letdown to get the WS on the card. But it does make up for it to finally get the Axe Murder. I think, Skis, I think you hooked me up with that unsigned promo. So thanks a lot, Skis, for that promo. And it's now complete. This is like promo Monday. So, on to the last one. This is a Via Venue. Looks like it's come back in 31 days. Let's rip open this thing and see what we get. Alright, no index card. But, then other than Nate Diaz. G Purple GTS sent the index card along. Hoping that I can score one for you. But uh, I don't know if these fighters want to sign index cards. It's just blank thing, you know. So maybe they think they're gonna, they're gonna rip off their autograph and put it on something that they didn't sign. I don't know. I think there was people been briefed on. I think fighters and pro pro sport players have been briefed on stuff like that. So I got I got the uh, title shot gold. Got the round two, and this is, ooh, I got these a couple of these done already. Um, in person in San Jose, so these are just kind of extras, but now this is actually a dually, so nice little dually return here, not dually return, but dually signed, I got the Gray Maynard, so there's Gray, there's Gray's signature, and then Nate Diaz and Nate's, it would have been cool to get a little bit better signature on the, on the moment of truth, but for a huge mail day, who can complain, it's nice to uh, get, she's what, six returns? Or five returns and a and a contest win, so uh, that's that. Um, JMO, this you know when you sent me a stack like a stack of cards like that big, it's now down to like this. I've sent like I'm not even gonna say, well I will say 21 TTM, 21 or 22 I think I sent three today. So hopefully um, this is like my it's not hope I forgot this, I shouldn't have said hopefully but. I was going to say hopefully I get a bunch of those back, but I know I will. Uh, most of the guys are good signers. It's just guys that uh, I wanted a moment of truth or um, or, uh, or other cards for the collages. But this is probably going to be my big last big push uh, TTM-wise. Um, so yeah, I'll probably end up doing a contest for a couple of these Gleason T-Bows. So at least that one will be available for you know for a giveaway. But uh, I think I'll end the video with that. Hooking up Marcel with a uh, nice Gleason T-ball UFC promo. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun cracking these six re returns open with you. So hopefully you come back with a bunch more videos this week. Later.